Hello guys, Gene here, G Squared Tactical, doing something out at the range today that I said I would never do. And what do you mean you would never do? Why would you not ever do it? Well, because number one, I want to keep the door closed off to the trolls because believe it or not, there is a whole community of people out there that believe because they shoot the best with a particular firearm and you do not. That means you don't know what you're talking about. You're an idiot. You're a rookie and a beginner and you know nothing. You're a horrible person in general. Sadly, there are people that genuinely behave that way. And we call them trolls, keyboard princesses, um, you know, pirates, uh, saying stuff behind the screen likely they wouldn't say in person. Those people exist, believe it or not. And so I did not want to get the trolls fired up with me saying, hey, listen, this video is not about what's best for you. It is simply what three guns are best for me if a crap hit the fan scenario. Now, Trey and I, when we used to do this channel together, he would come out here and embarrass me with a gun and I couldn't hit the broadside of a barn with it. And I never allowed that to beat me i never beat myself up about it because i understand and i do i've always understood everyone hands are different different hand sizes different finger sizes different finger lengths everyone fits someone differently their eyesight the way they hold a gun and that's why there are so many this is just the three guns that if the crap hit the fan i had to run to the safe and i could only grab three and yes, they are in different categories and for different reasons. And when I thought to do this video prior to actually going to the safe, I did have three in mind that I felt like was going to be the one. And one of them stayed the same. No, yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, one of them stayed the same. Two of them changed once I actually got to the safe and was like, uh, okay well, yeah, this has actually got to be the one. So with that being said, there are some honorable mentions to each one of these. Now, the first one would be, and I'm going to tell you the reason why, because again, different applications. So crap hits the fan, you're going out, zomb zombie apocalypse, riots, whatever the case might be, you have to go out, there might be some sketch, some, there might be some shade that day, okay? And so naturally, you're going to need something on you. So before anyone asks, I do not carry Kydex holsters. So if you want to know what holster I use for these guns, I, I only use outside the waistband VersaCarry universal type uh, belt holsters that I split a loop, tighten that sucker up, and that's what's most comfortable for, for me. I do not like Kydex holsters, so I can't help you there. I know that I've been told that Muddy River, I think it's Muddy River, um, has some great holster options for just about every one, if not all of these guns. So there's that. But the one that I'm carrying on my side, obviously it's going to need to be a little smaller, try to have some good capacity, but also something that you're very effective with and something that, yeah, it conceals relatively easy. I mean, I would imagine if it's a zombie apocalypse, you probably don't care. But for me, the gun that would fit that bill, a gun that I actually do carry a lot, would be my CZ Shadow 2 Compact with the Trigicon RMR mounted on top of it. And the reason for that is because it carries well, it's balanced well. Yes, it is an all metal gun, but it still is very well balanced. It's not overly weighty and I can carry it very, very easily on my side on said holster with, of course, out the flashlight on here because most leather holsters, it's hard to, to use a flashlight. So there you go. Now, well, let me shoot this first and then I will tell you of the the honorable mention to this one, if you will. Well, 
mean, I'm, I'm genuinely not sure that I shoot better with any gun that I own. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe there's one, another one. Maybe the next one. I don't know. We'll see. But this, the CZ Shadow 2 Compact, would be my sidearm, if you will, in a crap hit the fan type scenario. Now, what was the honorable mention to this? Now, I did not go to the safe thinking there was going to be anything other than this. This was the only one actually that I thought of in my head prior to going to the safe that actually remained the same. So, what was an honorable mention when I actually got to the safe? Which gun did I see that made me say, hmm, I don't know. Well, this one is a 15 round, 15 plus one, 16 round capacity. So capacity does matter. And again, it's a little bit it's a little bit weighty for a small concealed carry gun. So the honorable mention to this one, one that I shoot well with, but nowhere near as good as that, would be the 365 TAC Op, X Macro TAC Op. So you got a 17 plus one in that case. So you have a few more rounds to play with. It is very thin, a lot thinner than this one, but feeling the hand for me, I would not say it's better, just you have a more meaty grip on it, I guess you could say, but this one feels great in my hand with that beaver tail situation. I will turn the camera around and let you see me shoot each one of these at the target. I did back up here to about 15 yards. I usually shoot at eight or 10, but I was trying to say, well, if you were in a zombie, uh, a zombie apocalypse or riots, or whatever, maybe you might be engaging at a longer distance. So now, what was the next one okay well the next one would be if i was riding around in the truck and i was looking for capacity but also still looking for something that that i performed well with really well with but i wanted more capacity i wanted the max capacity if you will and still something that i shoot really good with shot placement matters i i'll t okay I'll tell you the honorable mention again after I, I shoot this one. Now, this is the one that I went to the safe thinking it was going to be something else. And it ended up being this one, although capacity wise, they're very close to the same. But I did end up going with this one simply because of how well and accurately I shoot with it. I am shooting today in the nine millimeters of PMC bronze. And also in the 45, I'm just shooting the blazer. Oh, I said 45, so I might have gave one away. Anyway, the second one is the CZ P10F. Now, you might say, well, these are some newer guns. Um, you're 47 years old. You've been carrying guns for a long time. These are newer guns. Well, there's nothing wrong with that because gun carry evolves as they come out with new guns just done a video on the evolution of my wife's carry guns the six different ones that she's carried over the years so yes the cz shadow 2 combat compact although the shadow or the 75 is not a new platform it is in the compact version the p10f has not been around for years but again if you pick it up you've been carrying something else for years and you shoot better with this you gotta evolve into what you perform better with. This is a 21 round magazine, one in the pipe, 22 rounds. Feels very 1911-ish in the hand. I mean, very, very 1911-ish. Very, very good stippling on the grip for you to get a really good grip on this gun. Huge trigger guard if you, again, were in a defensive heated situation just very easily able to get in and out of there and a very very accurate pistol again does have the hollison p10 made specifically for the p10 mounted up here so of course yes the second pistol also is optic ready getting older harder to see sometimes iron sights in a defensive situation seeing a green dot would be a heck of a lot easier in my opinion than irons but I can shoot with irons, so stay out of it, trolls. Anyway, CZ P10 
PTNF. Already done a review on it. Go check it out. That would be my second one. That would be the one that I would throw in the in the truck if I was riding around. Got out of the truck, I would have the Shadow 2 on, compact on my side. This one would be sitting in the truck. And also choosing this one because my wife shoots very well with it too, and so do my girls. And also they do as well with the Shadow 2 as I will just be putting a video up exclusively on the Shadow 2 very, very shortly in a thousand round follow-up and you'll see how well my wife shot with that gun. So that came into consideration too. So let's shoot these 21 rounds here, 22 actually. And then I'll talk about the honorable mention to this one, the one that I went into the safe thinking I would choose. Not back on the mag not exactly sure why that happened i might have been riding the slide not totally sure and and i did not shoot as well with it as i typically do but i promise you that's just me having a little bit of an off day as all that is because if you watch the original range review that i've done on this and every time that i've been out to the range with this just freaking lights out this gun feels amazing in the hand and I don't talk much about that, but I am way more accurate than I tried to get a little too fast is what it was. And, you know, hey, come on, give me a break. Everybody can have, but this is my gun. So the honorable mention to this, what I went in there thinking I would choose, and I do have an extended magazine in this gun, which I believe is around the same capacity, 20, 21, maybe even 22 rounds. I'm not, I can't remember exactly, but the one I went in believing I would choose, if this one was not available, I totally would choose it. So it would be an honorable mention, would have been my HEK VP9 optic ready as well, or even non-optic ready. I've always shot well with that gun. My wife shoots well with that gun. Very, very, probably one of the best in the hand you know, feeling the handguns I've, I've still to this day have ever, have ever held. And, and again, I, I usually don't talk about feeling the hand stuff, but either way. So my side piece got my one that's sitting in the truck and then the crap hits the fan. Like it really hits the fan. Um, what are you going to? Like you really need some heavy, heavy hitting. Like you need some knockdown. I'm 47, I'm on that 45 drug, I need that 45. I'll shoot what I chose, and with the understanding that going in, thinking that the H and K VP9 optic ready would have, and then seeing the P10F made me change my mind. I had one that I thought I would pick going in that I changed my mind once I got to the safe. What was it? It was the Glock 21 Gen 4. I do have my Holison PID plus mounted on here, whatever. That's the way it, this stays on my nightstand a lot of times. I will give you the honorable mention. I have put a lot of grip tape on this, kind of outfitted a little bit over the years. Does have a orange front night sight that I have installed, blacked out, serrated but it just works. Why did I pick it? Why did I choose it? I've shot it many, many years and it just simply works. And I'm accurate. I'm, I'm, I'm more accurate with this 45 than probably any 45 that I shoot. And again, I just, I can't mention, you, you know, enough that it simply just, just works. So uh, I'm gonna shoot this one then I'll take each one of them and I'll turn it around, let you guys see the target and then wrap up the video. And I will tell you what the honorable mention to this one was.
pretty impressive for a 45 cal Glock 21. That'll be my heavy hitter. I got a big zombie coming at me I need to take down. A Velociraptor is coming at me. I didn't realize I had turned my light on there. But uh, so the honorable mention, what was the honorable mention? What did I go in thinking that I would be choosing? I went in thinking that I would be choosing my FN, FNX Tactical because it is optic ready. I do shoot well with it, but again, don't come at me trolls. I know people love their FNs, but for me, the FNX Tactical seems, for me, maybe not for everyone, but for me, more, um, it, 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 it's a heavier hitter on the recoil. I can't, I seem to get more muzzle rise with it. I can't stay on target as well as I can with the Glock 21. And so I just like the Glock 21 for the better recoil, better accuracy because of that, of course. And, uh, but, but trust me when I tell you that if I had to go with the FNX um, Tactical 45, I would not be upset. I would not be disappointed. So three guns, carry side piece, CZ P10, I'm sorry, look at me. CZ Shadow 2 Compact, my truck gun, CZ P10F, and my heavy hitter, the Glock 21 Gen 4 outfitted with some night sights and grip tape and the Hollis and light there as mentioned. So either way, I'm going to shoot each one of these down range, have the camera turned around and let you guys see the performance and then we'll wrap the video up. The one and only Shadow 2 Compact. The one and only CZ P10F. The one and only Glock 21 Gen 4. <laughs> didn't get that last one well there you go folks there's my three if the crap hits the fan guns with the three honorable mentions of the FNX Tactical 45 the H&K VP9 optic ready with the suppressor height sights and the 21 round magazine I think it's 21 and then of course my 6 hour uh, X macro tac ops with the 17 plus one as honorable mentions. Either way, that's my three. So my side piece is the CZ Shadow 2 Compact with the Trigicon RMR. I have my CZ P10F with the Hollison Green Dot and I have my Velociraptor Glock. 21 Gen 4 with the Hollison PID Plus with the green laser and I believe it's a thousand lumen flashlight rechargeable there on the front. So that's my three. Uh, what is your three? Again, everyone's is different. Technically six. I would have been satisfied with the other three. But either way, these are the ones that I pulled out of the safe today. All of them are reliable. All of them are accurate. All of them, to my knowledge, has never given me a single failure of any kind. So thanks so much for watching. I hope that you liked the video. Maybe you agree with my choices. Maybe you don't. I really love to hear what your thoughts are, what your choices are. 
it really helps everyone to grow and to know what other people do and don't like and why. So if you just let me know that, please consider going over supporting me with me shooting the higher caliber guns, some 10 millimeters coming out recently. It's difficult to continue to buy all the ammunition to really run the guns the way you would like to see me run them. So please consider going over $5 a month, Patreon, supporting me over there. I promise at some point in time when things settle down, I'll get some higher tiers over there with some exclusive content. Consider going over, checking out G-Squared Tactical, getting you some of our hats, cups, coasters, shirts. We have all kinds of things over there, gsquaredtactical.com. Go over there and check that out. Check me out on Rumble as well. I try to upload to Patreon as much as I can, but that's the most important as far as monetary is concerned, the, the place you can best support me on. As always, hit the thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe, but the most important thing is to make sure you know Jesus Christ is your Savior. You can always ask me how you can know that or someone that you may know yourself. Thanks again so much for watching, and as always on this beautiful day, to God be the glory.